You guys want to see the coolest modified electrical component setup that you've ever seen in a vehicle? Chargers, amplifiers, wiring, and fuses, all that kind of stuff, all neatly organized and done by this guy? Well, let's check it out. What is it? What do we have back here? <laughs> what we actually have back here is all of our electrical wiring. And it looks really neat and, and simple, and I'm not done completely organizing it yet. But it wasn't simple and it wasn't easy. It looks pretty easy. But, uh, but what I do recommend is drawing everything out on a piece of paper first, making your diagrams before you actually do anything make a plan, make three plans, make sure it's all right, actually get graph paper, grid paper, and do all that stuff. But what we have here is we have a safe, okay? Fingerprint activated. See if it doesn't always work, but fingerprint activated safe for the pistol. So when I wanna store my pistol in my vehicle, let's say for example, I'm going to a sporting event where I'm not able to have the pistol or something like that, I can put it in a safe. It makes it one step harder to, uh, steel then what we have here is the amp for all of the speakers and we've got a crazy speaker system stay tuned for the speaker system video or if it's already posted here on the channel it's probably already posted here go check it out awesome speaker system we've got the two rockford foscape amps this is for the mids and highs this is for the lows okay this is a r2 500 uh four channel amplifier and then this is the r250 1d this is the driver for the for the mid for the 12 inch mid and then this we got six by nines this pushes six by nines in the front two doors because the land cruisers don't come with a bunch of uh audio so we've got six by nines in the front two doors we've got sixes in the back two doors we've got two sixes in the center console a 12 in the bottom of the center console and then there's some two and a halfs that we stuff stuffed under the dash and all that stuff just makes for a crazy stereo system Make sure you check out the video where I use a decibel meter to actually read the level of the stereo system. So pretty, pretty cool. Check that out. From there, it's really important to fuse everything. And I always use mer these Blue Sea Marine Grade fuse blocks. Okay, they're awesome. And all this is my power distribution area. These are all power distribution right here. And it's all red. It's all power distribution. This is my ground distribution block. It's connected to the battery and I've got all my ground cables running to this. I've got a pure sine wave power inverter so I can do all of my charging of anything on the run, charge all of my camera equipment, make my YouTube videos, all that kind of stuff. We've got the compressor over there in the far corner and that little box you see above the compressor is the RGB rock lights. And so that's, you know, it's kind of just a little cheap thing I got off Amazon, but it actually, I've had that longest, longer than anything in here and it, and it all works well. So that's all the stuff that we've got tucked away there. Very neatly tucked away, very, you know, nicely tucked away and, and really cool. Just used, uh, used some Sikaflex to glue some marine grade plywood to the, to the back here. It's 
to the to the wall of the truck so I didn't have to drill any holes in the cab. And I put some indoor outdoor marine grade carpet on top of the plywood. And now I just screwed all this stuff into the plywood. And it's a, it's just a really great way to do it. And, and you know, your vehicle, don't be afraid to modify it. I think that's what I'm, you know, do a good job. It's all about pre-planning. Do way more planning than you think you're going to need to do. Take your time. Make sure you, if you can, if you can afford to buy the parts, also be, be able to afford to at least buy adequate enough tools to get the job done. But that's kind of my tip for the day. And hopefully you guys can take some inspiration from this build and work on doing things themselves. Questions and comments below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so I can keep making more cool content like this. And thanks for watching. Bone out.